Uh, we're, we're having a, a discussion about the potential meaning of the Teatro Mertimo. I mentioned that I, I, I've come to believe that if you analyze the circulation routes, that the crowd of supplicants going to an audience with the emperor was forced to circumnavigate the space that is associated so privately with the emperor. What we didn't say before is that the plan of this building evokes the the ancient Roman uh, atrium house, and there's a tablum space at the end in which Hadrian would have been seated or would have been seen to, could have been seated as the paterfamilias of the empire, or the paterfamilias of the world, the father of the people, the father of the empire. We were having a, a, a discussion whether being forced to circumnavigate uh, Hadrian in this manner is more in the manner of a Eastern potentate or king than a Roman emperor. So this is a, every time a crucial point uh, uh -huh. in, in, in visiting the emperor and then at the experience of an emperor, you see um, uh, a tyrant or a king, or mm -hmm. you see the princeps inter pares. So in a integrated in a social community of senators and of optimi mm -hmm. and in this way um, there is a sensibility of, of hierarchy mm -hmm. and, uh, it is clearly for everyone that he is the emperor and he has the power uh, over the Roman Empire mm -hmm. but if he uh, does is in a habit of being a king and a tyrant so this is really really hard for the other em uh, senators and, mm -hmm. and, and optimi and mm -hmm. I'm not sure if, if uh, Hadrian is the type of, of emperor mm -hmm. like Caligula and Domitian um, uh, who is celebrating uh, uh, this, this, this uh, kind of, 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 of emperorness. Right. And, 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 I, and I would ask the question of whether it would be possible uh, within a, the, 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 the symbolic language of the time whether a figure such as Hadrian could boast, and because Hadrian himself was this, uh, a flamboyant, yeah. Uh, uh, amazing person who, 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 who committed flamboyant acts of all kinds and invariably they, re they related both his personal life to the political uh, uh, s sphere of the time, right? Mm -hmm. So could uh, he have invoked himself as, uh, could there be a distinction made between being the, 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 the quintessential Roman pater familias, yeah. the father figure, is there enough of a distinction between that and being a tyrant? Yes. Yeah. My question. Well, and as you mentioned before, um, Adrian is, is, is like Augustus. He wants to imitate Augustus. Yes. And Augustus, uh, I mean, he was the best emperor in understanding the game yes. of being, uh, of playing the game, right. of being uh, one of the others, and uh, of not showing his, his um, total power he had. Uh, and that's a very good point because uh, Hadrian intended to imitate Augustus, use Augustus as, a, as his model. On the other hand, Augustus never built a villa like this either, right? And, a, and, and, and never built a villa. The only, the only text, historical text, which refers to this villa refers to it as a imitation of the world, right? So this villa, in, in some metaphorical sense, is a representation of the empire in Hadrian's mind, right? In a way that would have been beyond Augustus ever to have done, Augustus would have been afraid of, of, of ever doing such a thing because it would have disrupted this delicate balance of which he was a master.